name is Holly and in this video I will be demonstrating how to configure your FME server for SSL using a self-signed certificate. The first step is to create a Tomcat key store. This will hold the keys FME server will use for secure transactions. In this example, I have all the commands I will be using stored in a text file to create and import this key store into my web application. Once you have opened command prompt as an administrator, in order to use this key tool command, we first need to navigate into the utilities JRE bin folder within our FME server installation directory. To create the Tomcat key store, there are a number of parameters you'll have to define. The distinguished name stores the details about your organization that will be displayed on this certificate. You'll also need to set up a password and specify the DNS. Once you've made these changes to the command, copy it from your text file into the command prompt and press enter to execute. After the key store has been created, it then needs to be imported into FME server's trusted KCERTs. In this next command, make sure you have replaced the password with the one you set in the previous step, as well as updated the file path to your installation folder. Once completed, command prompt will return a response that the alias was successfully imported. Once the key store file has been created, we need to enable SSL on the FME server by modifying a series of configuration files. The first three files to make changes to are located in utilities tomcat conf. In order to save the changes, you must open the files using a note editor run as administrator. In the server XML file, we are going to make two changes. First, locate the listener tag that contains the SSL engine parameter. This will be located on or around line 28, and by default, this value is on. It needs to be updated to off. Second, we are going to replace a connected tag with the one documented in the associated article. Rather than removing the existing connector, I prefer to comment this out so that we can easily revert SSL changes if necessary. Underneath, you can copy in the new connector tag. Before saving these changes, you'll need to update the key store file to the path of your FME server installation, as well as the key store pass to point to your Tomcat key store password. FME server will connect through HTTPS on port 443. If you would like to use another port, you'll also need to update this in the connector. Now you can go ahead and save the file and then open web.xml from the same location. Here you'll need to scroll to the very bottom and just above the closing web app tag, copy the security constraint element from the article. Save and repeat this process with the context.xml file, this time copying the valve element above the context tag. The final file to update is a text file, FME server config, and this can be found in our install directory in the server subfolder. Here we are looking to change the parameter FME server web URL so that it includes HTTPS and references our new port 443. We are now ready to verify our SSL configuration. First, to apply these changes, the FME server application server service needs to be restarted. After this, we can go over to a web browser and open FME server through HTTPS. You'll notice that even though we are now using HTTPS, the web browser still displays the URL as not secure. The reason for this is because we are using a self-signed certificate, so the web browser does not know the certificate provider and so cannot trust the certificate that we have installed. 
Continue to log into FME Server, and finally, we need to update the service URLs to use HTTPS. Under Admin, go to System Configuration, Network and Email, and select Services. Click on the Change All Hosts button, and you'll notice that FME should have already picked up the change in the URL. So simply select OK to apply this change. Finally, to verify that our configuration is complete, test running our workspace to make sure it submits successfully. Here I have chosen one of the sample workspaces and run it under the data download service to confirm that the returned URL is correct. That's it. FME Server is now configured to be accessed via HTTPS using a self-signed certificate. Note that if you are using WebSockets in FME Server, please proceed to complete the optional configuration steps at the bottom of this article.